Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ray. Thank you for joining me. Check it out, guys. I got another quick tip for you guys. Now, if you guys out there using Pocket Wizards, and I'm pretty sure you guys are, especially the Flex TT5 or anything particular to this, as you know, we got to keep up with the firmware to these things. Now, I haven't used my Pocket Wizard for quite a long time. Decided to pull them out of the storage closet, blow the dust off, and update the firmware. Plan on trying to do a little more photography triggering the remote camera, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, so in doing that, since I haven't used so long, I know the firmware is way out of date. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very, very simple. All you need is, of course, Pocket Wizard. You're going to need uh, one of the cables, USB to, I forgot the name of this connector. Um, I'll put a list with it, what it is. And a Pocket Wizard, all right? To update it, we're going to take you over to the computer. I'm going to show how we do it. And just get it done. It's just a quick tip for you guys out there researching, haven't done it, and just want that little visual aid to help you along with this, all right? Again, thanks for joining me. I'm Ray, the Studio Ray, Studio Play. Ray, Ray. Still don't know what the hell I'm gonna call the channel, but just call me Ray, Ray Place, and let's get in the video. Let's go. Right, guys welcome back to the channel still great boys and toys check it out guys what we're gonna do now you're gonna have to go to this page right here called packetwizard.com you're simply gonna go up to here that says support and scroll down to firmware updates once you click that you're gonna go download the download the pocket wizard utility and pick the one operating system that you need in my case I have a Mac and here download the most current one if you're using that operating system if you have an older one then scroll down to number two in that case you click on that and you have to tell it where you want to download it now you can use it this utility for all your firmware uh, updates all right so all you're going to do once you do that i'm going to go over here it was already downloaded for me it's in the application file and it's right here called pocket wizard now your units are already going to be plugged in once you click this you're going to hit that and it's going to open up this utility right here all right and it's automatically going to recognize it you're going to get a dialog box indicating to update date you just simply simply say uh update um right here it's update firmware i already did now in this case, it's going to be two options. It's going to tell you legacy or the E version, which is the paid one. You can read up on the E version. To me, not worth it for me, so I'm just do the uh, legacy one. I hit OK. In my case, as you can see, I'm already running the latest one because I already updated. But I just want to show you guys how to do it. All right. And if I wanted to, if you want to reprogram for the same version, I could say yes, which I, I'll do it just for you guys for for blank and giggles and as you can see it's downloading the progress right up here very easy very simple to do all right and very quick at least for my version so we'll give it a couple of minutes and that's it guys it's done all right it's been updated it tells me it's successfully updated it asks me if i want to save the old version which i don't and that's pretty much it and it's, in this utility you can do everything all right remember uh, these things uh, very powerful and you can change transmission code whatever is on whatever you want to think about you can do it you can do it for normal 2TL or just use it as a trigger whatever it is so and again guys if you like this this is simply a quick tutorial on how to update to the latest firmware so I hope you appreciate this guys please like subscribe and okay before I say it also apply changes whatever you do you make sure you hit that button too so apply those changes to your pocket wizard so and you'll see down here this is writing and what have you and they'll apply those changes so that's pretty much it guys hope you appreciate it this is studio ray boys and toys all right for ray photography and i'll check you out on the next one later